every every day I go to the training and I do something because I know I have competition. When I was a kid, I beginning like in freestyle wrestling, then I moved to judo, combat sambo, MMA. I doing like all, almost 13 years, last 13 years professional, and all my life I was doing something like preparing for somebody for some amateur fights, amateur wrestling or professional MMA, you know, it's like, but right now it's like, it's a little bit hard for me, you know, like, without competition. Don't focus on your opponent. Why you have to focus on him? Just focus on yourself. Train all the time, not only training camp. Like I told all my guys, guys, you cannot train only when UFC give you guys fight. No, like last two months, like three months. This is not a good time to improve. This is good time to become good shape. But other time when you do, you don't have fights. Like okay, you finish your fight, one week you rest. After that, you have to come to the gym and improve yourself all the time. When UFC give you fight, okay, focus on fight and become more good shape and fight. Put your level on different, like another level or improve yourself. Like you cannot train only when UFC give you fight, but. Most of the celebrity people do this when they become famous, when they have money, everything, they're busy, they travel, everything. Okay, they think, I'm champion, I need only three months. No, this is a big mistake. Everything about discipline. Everything about discipline and every day. And every day, every day, like, you know, train, sleep, eat, repeat. They have to become your lifestyle and everything here in mental. Like, people ask me, like, uh, when you become champion, what you feel like? And I said, no, in my mind, I was always champion. In my mind, all the time when I see someone compete, like in my weight classes, and I think, okay. Like since when I was like, you, when UFC signed me, it was like 2012, 2013, 14, like that time, I would think about, I'm gonna beat these guys. I'm gonna, I can beat all of them, you know, like everything about mental. Nobody can, say nothing about my career. I don't think like, like 13 and all in UFC. I fight with absolutely best guys. And uh, I don't care about this. Just let people judge, you know. We have a lot of hate on this world, you know. I don't wanna give people bad energy. If something happen, it's gonna be happy, you know. I don't like to talk people with, oh, if I'm gonna see this guy, if I'm gonna like see other guy, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, like. Who's gonna talk? Who never gonna do this? You know, it's like, like uh, it's gonna be like we don't know what situation is gonna be. Maybe we're gonna be alone, or maybe it's gonna be like 200 camera around, like a lot of security. Or so. you, you never know, you know. But I really don't like this, you know. Like fame and money show who you are, you know. All the time we hear about like money and the fame change people. No, when money and fame come. These two things show who you are. You know, it's like this is not not about I knew or no. This is like. Uh, Did you have a vision? Is what I'm. I have to vision. Say. <clears throat> I have vision. Like uh, all the time, I think about like if not injuries or if nothing happen, like if I'm gonna fight, like for example, with this champion, I can beat him. Like always, like my mind think about, like. Uh, I just, oh man, I just need to compete with this guy. I, I really want to compete with him. You know, like, I remember when uh, Anthony Pettis fight with uh, Gilbert Melendez. It was like in Vegas. I was there, like, I do my rehab in, for my knee. And I and I was very close to cage, you know. Mm -hmm. And they fight for the lightweight title. And I think, like, when the fight finish, I will think, like, Wanted, these these wanted, guys, wanted these guys, people call them like best in the world, and I think I can beat these guys. Yeah. And my focus was like crazy, you know. And after that, Rafael dos Anjos, after like three months, beat Anthony Pettis. And I was think like, hey, one year ago, I mow Rafael dos Anjos. All these chickens, they fight for the, my title, you know. It's like, and I am here without belt, and all these chickens, they fight for the, my title, you know. It's like. And, but that time I was injured, you know, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do everything what I have to do and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna mold all of them. And when I come back, like 2016, 14, I have injured, 16, I come back. And uh, it was like two different Khabib, you know, it's like when I watch, when I fight Dos Anjos and all these fights before, you, uh, before I get injured and after that, I change completely.
I truly believe that this time I can become best. But I know like a lot of people don't believe this, but my team, my father, my close people, they believe me, they support me, they was always with me. And uh, right now when I finish, I cannot be away from this because all these guys, they support me all my career. And these guys, big part of my success, you know? That's why I'm here, that's why like I live my family, I come here to support these guys. When I want, I go to the training. When I don't want, I don't go, I don't go to the gym, you know? Like, like one year ago, I was big star and I was busy too. And same time, I knew I have to fight with lions. That's why it doesn't matter where I fight, fly, where I go, I always training. Never, ever, never. For me, training for me is like I don't know what's what's have to happen. What have to happen? You know, it's like if I very sick. You know, if I catch flu or something like this, of course I cannot train. It. But even if I broke my leg, broke my arm, broke my ribs, doesn't matter. Even if I have mm, surgery on my back, you know, it's like doesn't matter. I always train. I always in gym. Even I cannot do nothing. I just come to the gym and I watch and I try to learn something and you know this is how you have to be if you want to be champion if not on this business this is don't work I don't know maybe in soccer or American football when you celebrate you just come play like but you can say like I play soccer football basketball hockey but you cannot say I play MMA you cannot say you have to compete here with Lions if not they're gonna hurt you you're gonna broke something or they're gonna hurt you, like they're gonna give you knee, elbow, punch, they're gonna choke you, they're gonna broke your arms, they're gonna broke your legs. You have to be careful this with this sport. This is not like just regular sport. We have to make him busy, do something like in other, like, you know, like things. Because in this sport, you have to be very hungry. Or other way, like someone gonna come and hurt you. When you have family, kids, when you have all life, ahead you know it's like uh, this is this is not easy like look what happened with Connor you know his kids watch like his family watch look what happened with like Chris Weidman or like Anderson Silva like not only these guys who broke legs like other guys who have damage on their bra brain you know how many guys they still compete knockout 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 this is change your mind change your brain like this is give you very like uh, they make you like different person because of too much you eat too much punch you know this is you cannot play mma you know this is very dangerous sport